Greetings citizens of the world. Michelle Obama is a sneaky woman. She is a really tricky creature and I think that she was the strongest asset in possession of Barack Obama. This woman knows how to play dirty, she is always here to make the right move to protect the dignity of the corrupted Obama family. It's been a few weeks since the country has heard or seen Michelle Obama which is a welcome change, but unusual for the spotlight-obsessed former first lady. Her last public appearance was at an event where she was asked to speak but spent her stage time complaining about the hard life she had in the White House as a black woman. The silence is golden, but perhaps there's a reason for that as we're learning today with what just came out regarding a fraud case her name is caught in. Michelle probably assumed the victims had forgotten all about it. What makes it worse, is who the vulnerable were that had been taken advantage of. Of the Obama's many failures, Michelle's claim to fame for eight years seems to be her biggest. Her platform as America's mom, dietitian, and physical fitness guru, failed miserably on delivery. It's since been demolished by her White House replacement since like anything Barack and Michelle touched, was horrible for citizens. While Michelle's school lunch program was a disaster for everyone, especially the children forced to eat this unedible food, it turns out that there was one person who benefited a great deal from it. The Independent Journal Review reports. Me David Binkle. He was an advisor to Michelle Obama on her infamous and regularly criticized school lunch program. Binkle, a chef by trade served for years as the health food guru for the Los Angeles Unified School District. He was held up as the poster child for the First Ladies program, instituting its strict nutrition standards for the nearly one million children the Los Angeles School District feeds a day. Binkle was so successful in instituting the program that he was brought to the White House to meet with the First Lady and advise her on new ways to implement restrictions on children's lunches. In the past, Michelle had nothing but flattering things to say about the man who made her program and foul food ideas a reality. In the prime of her program, Michelle's website dedicated to it had this to say about David Binkle. David Binkle, director of food services for a Los Angeles Unified School District, shared that his district has been able to successfully implement and even go beyond the nutrition standards for the 650,000 students they serve. As a result, they have seen increased participation in the program, improvements in students' academics, and even increased graduation rates. While this exaggerated claim is a fraud in itself, the bigger fraud was Binkle who was allegedly cashing in on the failure. While kids were going hungry because the food forced on them was so unappetizing, Binkle was laughing all the way to the bank, according to recent accusations against him. Binkle is now facing years of jail time for defrauding the program and therefore the children he was tasked with feeding, IJ Review reported. According to court documents, Binkle stole $65,000 hard cash from the Michelle Obama-endorsed nutrition program and lined his own pockets with it. He could face up to 13 years in prison if he is convicted on the 15 felony counts brought against him. The Los Angeles Times further explains the damning reality for Binkle. The Los Angeles Unified School District serves nearly 700,000 meals per day, and the professional chef helped lead a charge that saw vegetarian curries, pad thai noodles and quinoa salads replace old cafeteria staples like chicken nuggets and corn dogs. The initiatives won the district numerous awards, drew praise from then First Lady Michelle Obama as she led a national push to combat childhood obesity, and earned Binkle appearances on TEDx Talks. But as he was revolutionizing meals for the district's students, prosecutors allege, Binkle illegally funneled roughly $65,000 of the district's money into a private consulting firm he ran, then placed some of that money into his own pocket. The 55-year-old appeared in court on Tuesday and pleaded not guilty to 15 felony counts including embezzlement and misappropriation of public funds. He posted $220,000 bail and is scheduled to return to court in October. According to court documents, Binkle repeatedly misappropriated district funds in amounts ranging from $5,000 to $15,000 between 2010 and 2014. Prosecutors also allege that he forged an application to become a vendor with the district and failed to disclose outside financial interests. If convicted, 
he faces up to 13 years in prison. Michelle, who may or may not have known this was going on, has been silent since the seedy truth of her program has come out and it's unlikely she'll address it anytime soon, if ever. She has more important things to publicly discuss that serves her ego instead of the need for justice being served on poster child for her program. Just when the country didn't think this program could get worse, this pretty much finishes off her lunchroom legacy. Michelle Obama made a huge mistake once again. The true American patriots know that America needs justice. Greetings citizens of the world. Michelle Obama is a sneaky woman. She is a really tricky creature and I think that she was the strongest asset in possession of Barack Obama. This woman knows how to play dirty, she is always here to make the right move to protect the dignity of the corrupted Obama family. It's been